Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Sunday evening, April the 9th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. This is Easter Sunday, Resurrection of the Lord, and this is the evening reading. It occurs to me I may have mentioned in Saturday's readings that there would be a set of readings for the vigil for Saturday. Unfortunately, it was too cumbersome for me to get those recordings done. And so perhaps in next year or in the third year, year, I will have the time and the resources to do those appropriately. For today, we have two readings because it is Easter Sunday. And we are going to begin with a reading for the evening from Isaiah, chapter 25, verses 6 to 9. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wine, of rich food full of marrow, of aged wine well refined, and he will swallow up on the mountain the covering that is cast over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord will wipe away tears from all faces and the reproach of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him that he might save us. This is the Lord we have waited for him. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Our psalm for this evening's readings come from comes from Psalm 114 in its entirety. When Israel went out from Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The the sea looked and fled. Jordan turned back. The mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. What ails you, O sea, that you flee? O Jordan, that you turn back. O mountains, that you skip like rams. O hills, like lambs. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a spring of water. Our first reading from the New Testament for the evening reading on Easter comes from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 6b to verse 8. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump? Cleanse out the old leaven that you may be a new lump, as you really are unleavened. For Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us therefore celebrate the festival, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Our final reading for this evening is from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 24, verses 13 to 49. That very day, two of them were going to a village named Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and they were talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing together, Jesus himself drew near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What is this conversation that you are holding with each other as you walk? And they stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, named Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? And he said to them, What things? And they said to him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, a man who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and how our chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. 
Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things happened. Moreover, some women of our company amazed us. They were at the tomb early in the morning, and when they did not find his body, they came back saying that they had even seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it, just as the women had said, but they did not see. And Jesus said to them, O oh, foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, Jesus interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So they drew near to the village to which they were going, and he acted as if he were going farther. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is now far spent. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at table with them, he took the bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road, while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose that same hour and returned to Jerusalem. And they found the eleven, and those who were with them gathered together, saying, the Lord has risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, how he was known to them in the breaking of the bread. And as they were talking about these things, Jesus himself stood among them and said, Peace to you. But they were startled and frightened and thought he was a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do you doubt? Why do doubts arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they still disbelieved for joy, and while they still disbelieved for joy and were marveling, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it before them. Then he said, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are my witnesses of these things. And, behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God. May you be praised for the generous provision of it to us. And grant, Lord, that these words will be written in our minds, in our hearts, and on our souls, so that they can work in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory in the name of your only Son, Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, our Redeemer, our soon-returning King. Amen. Friends, as always, I commend you for spending some time listening to Scripture, uh, today especially, as there have been two sets of readings, because it is Easter Day. And I, I have placed the uh, references for what is read in the description portion of this video so that you can read them again for yourself. And until we are together again, I pray that will be tomorrow, to hear the scriptures chosen for that day, I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ, as he said, peace be with you. Shalom.